Why, hello there, all you beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of the Road to Max and Building a Runescape Saga. And man, now that we're done with 99 Fire Making, I hope you all are ready to see the onslaught of quests, drops, and equipment that we end up getting in this episode. And of course, you'll end up enjoying today's episode. Make sure you support the channel for free by hitting that thumbs up button, clicking that subscribe button. And turning on that bell notification. And without further ado, let's get in to that beautiful content. I am doing some herbal ore from some of the herbs that we have gotten, and I definitely should be able to at least get 30 from what we've got. 26 was energy potions. I ended up with a good amount of Hardlanders, so that's going to be really nice. So when we start completing diaries and getting those lamps, I'll finally be able to put them on herbal ore. And here we are with 30 herb lore. Oh, so, so nice. And there's a lot of Ironmen <laughs> collecting this chocolate over here at the Gnome Stronghold. So I don't blame them. It is one of the best places to pick it up before you have the bears just unlocked. But we are now at the level where I can use the lamps that we get from the diaries and other areas for herb lore. This account is literally so spooned on, on everything. I, just, I mean, the second one, we get the clean necklace. I'm doing the kudos so I can see how far away I am from doing Bone Voyage so I can get started doing the Birdhouse runs because I love me some AFK Hunter Giant Seedweed that is also very nice, very useful for crafting and so I can get the Ultra Compost for the Herb Seeds because I really do want to start that grind as soon as possible while I'm doing Agility. A <laughs> I actually had just enough, I only need 100 for the quest. We have just enough. We're slapping this into herbal or that, I think, is not a level. Okay, I was already, I just got 33, but I can go ahead and do a Bon Voyage. Very nice. And there we are with a Bon Voyage done. Honestly, so excited to get this quest done. I'm ready for Ultra Compost. I have all the stuff I need to build the bank spot here, and so then I will be good to go. All right, here we are finishing up 1,000 Volcanic Ash. That should last me for a while. I am very, very happy with that. I'm going to work on starting the farm runs. All righty, I need this quest so we can do Fairy Tale Part 1. That is Lost City. Access to Xanaris, I need to go do Nature Spirit. And then hopefully I don't get some really bad items for Fairy Tale Part 1. Here we are completing Nature Spirit. No longer one defense pure. Definitely getting a couple levels here. That is 35 crafting, 21 hit points, and 13 defense, and 33 combat. Now I'm going to go start Fairy Tale Part 1, and hopefully we don't get an item that will take us forever to complete that quest. Just in case you guys don't know, this is the place where you can flinch Tanglefoot during this quest, so. It's pretty much a no-brainer at that point. Pretty easy fight, so now all I gotta do is do this. My items were super simple. I had red spider eggs, red vine worm, and a fat snail, so that was really relieving. I'm gonna be very excited once we finally have those fairy rings unlocked. I wanted to get them unlocked before we started the agility grind that way when I go to do my farm runs I don't have to go from Varok all the way over to canvas I can just use the fairy rings okay we are done with a fairy tale part one and I just of course as all Iron Man know only need to start fairy tale part two in order to use the fairy rings and I have access to fairy rings of 33 combat that I think it's the lowest I've ever had access to them. So really prepping myself to do all these farm runs. We got the magic secateurs. I have the ultra compost. We are going to be good to go. Here we are. We have access to the fairy rings. And I believe, yep, that is a task. Love to see it. So now I am all set up to do farm runs. Okay. I fibbed a bit. I now am looking like a peak early Iron Man account. I want to work on getting the uh, axes here, so I'm going to be chilling here until I at least get a rune axe. 
Also would like to get some nature runes for some alking later on in the account. Plus it would be a nice way to train the accounts uh, to do some low alking. Getting natures is not going to be difficult on this account, so I'm going to be chilling here for a bit. And there we are with 40 magic. Before we really get started into the farm runs, I want to at least be able to teleport to Camelot. So I figured why not come here? I already got like one of each axe and uh, I just wanted to get around 500 nature runes. So I'm just going to be chilling here until we get those. And then probably if we're not 45 magic by then, which I don't think that we will be. I'm going to go buy some more runes and then head it over to Zamorak Warriors and the ZMI. And of course, you know, it wouldn't be an Iron Man series if we didn't have the rune scimitar grind. And there we are with a 45 magic. I was kind of hoping we would have gotten the rune scimitar before we got this level. We have killed right under 100 of these and we have not gotten one yet. But I do need 50 anyway for the Tome of Fire, so I'm just going to chill here until we get it. Well, there we are, 30 HP, and uh, <laughs> we are continuing to go dry here. And I kind of figured we were expected to go dry somewhere, so this is just a funny place to go dry. We're at 140 KC, and according to the drop right calculator, it's a 94% chance that we would have gotten the rune scimitar by now, but I guess it's completely fine. I was kind of expecting it with how spooned we've gotten on a lot of other things. Uh, there it, it finally is. We have it. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, we still needed the mage uh, experience, so I'm not upset that it took us that long to get it. I don't know what else I was going to do. Maybe splash. It's not the most efficient, but it allows me to do some other things in real life while I'm also working on magic. But I'm very happy that we got the rune scimitar, and now I can work on doing some other things. Okay, so I'm using some of my natures to superheat here. I wanted to at least get 47 magic. That way I can boost to enchant rubies. I want to have the dig site necklaces all good and ready to go before we really start the farming grind. That way I can also do birdhouse runs while I'm doing my farm runs as well. If I'm already going to be out away from agility, I might as well be doing those. And they're just so good. I really do enjoy those. So I got to get... 40 crafting, which isn't going to be an issue. I still have a bunch of molten glass supplies in the bank, so I'm going to go get that, go buy a bunch of wizard my bombs, and then make some ruby necklaces. <laughs> I totally forgot I had all these gems from Winter Tot. There we are with 40 crafting. I'm just going to continue to cut all of these up until I'm done. Then I'm going to go ahead and make some of those ruby necklaces. Here we are coming in with a nice total experience update, 16 million on the account. Love to see it. And there we are with 44 crafting. Okay, bought 200 cosmic runes and 300 law runes. This should last us a while for the farm runs. And this should last us a while for enchanting stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on enchanting those ruby necklaces into dig site pendants. Okay, we got 57 dig site pendants. Yeah, that's definitely going to be enough for the foreseeable future. I have to go make the bird catching mechanisms in my player own home and build that room, but I'm pretty sure I have everything, so I should be good to go for that. I told myself I would just continue world hopping until I started hitting large patches where people have obviously been doing the same thing I have, and that finally happened. Almost a thousand of a couple of these seeds. And I actually didn't know this because... I really don't do birdhouse runs on any of the restricted accounts that I've been playing on, but back in February of 2023, they actually passed a poll where you can now use uh, allotment seeds and you can use flower seeds as well, so, and bush, so super nice. Now you can just pretty much buy everything from Olivia over here except for the jute seeds and it significantly reduces the amount of world hopping you have to do. This should be good enough for around 150 birdhouse runs. I think it's 147, but with what I have in the bank, also should be good to go. I've got a lot of seeds in here, so that's going to be really nice. All right, this is an exciting time. First birdhouse run. I love birdhouse runs. They're so passive, and they line up so well with farm run so up to 40 agility as well i think we're gonna get a level from each of these bird houses so 
I'll be able to do oak next time we do this. But yeah, so now I can go ahead and go to the canvas agility course since we are 40 agility now. Finishing up a farm run here, and it looks like we're at least going to have 34 Ranars from our first farm run. There we are with 35 farming. I am only using four allotment patches, just the four closest ones that I have access to. So I'm not like <laughs> running the whole gauntlet when I'm doing a farm run. But it is really nice to have all these Ranars. Let's go ahead and see what we actually end up with. I think like the minimum you can get with Ultra Compost and the Secateurs are 8 from a patch, so I haven't gotten anything lower than 8, but 8's been about the average that I have been getting. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. We have so many Ranar Seeds. We're just going to have so many Prayer Potions. Absolutely, absolutely love it. So 35 from our first run. Very nice. And this lap will get us 45 agility. Oh, I love to see it. Honestly, I feel like I'm right in there at the beginning of that mid game for the Iron Man content. We're at 903 total level. We got the farm runs going. We've got the birdhouse runs going. I'm working on getting full graceful. I just, I feel so good right now. There we are with a 25 Hunter. Absolutely beautiful. I accidentally brought normal logs with me this time, but next time we will be able to use those Willow logs. This has been so, so nice. And we might hit 40 farming this farm run too. I do have some Willow trees that are now completed. And there we are with 40 farming. Absolutely beautiful. I don't have any more trees to plant, so... Kind of just going around and checking all of the ones that I have at the moment, but that is a really nice milestone for the account. Here we are getting 50 agility. Ooh, that feels good. <laughs> we can now do the Faldor course, but I won't be doing that. Uh, I'm going to be staying here till 60. You just get a lot more marks of grace over here. And here we are with 44 farming. That might not seem like an important level, but it actually is because I can plant Irit seeds now. And uh, episode one of this series launched today, and I've just been getting a lot of positive feedback. And probably like the most notable thing is that like you, you truly just don't know when your last day of playing this game is going to be. And... I want to make sure that when it's like my last day of playing that I just have all these fond memories. So I'm I'm just really glad that I kind of have like an idea of when that potentially might be. I'm hoping that it isn't <laughs> by any means because I love playing this game. But that's pretty much like what everyone has been saying is like you never know and this is sort of like... A love letter throughout my entire journey so thank you guys so much for your support honestly i, I truly appreciate it and uh, i'm gonna get back to some birdhouse runs and some agility all right now that i've got some marks of grace let's go ahead and buy the top and the legs here boom boom i wanted to wait until i had 115 so i could snag these and now we just have the really small pieces left to go we are a little under halfway to being completed just based off the Marsha Grace that we need. I actually wanted to check to see how many Ranars we got because I just finished all of them up outside of two seeds just in case we get that as a farming contract. 281. These are left over from Winter Tot. So essentially we got 321 Ranars from Winter Tot. That feels super nice. I still have a lot of seeds to go. I'm planting the Toad Flax right now before I start with the Irit seeds. Since it will be a little bit before we are able to utilize those for Herblore, but I do need to collect some Unicorn Horns. And I have about 42 Limpworts that we can use on the Terramin, although I have to save one for the current Easy Diary. I know I made a clip earlier, but honestly, you guys have been so supportive today. We're like maybe three hours past video launch, and I've already had so many people come into the friends chat and I've had so many people just message me saying, hey, glad to see that you're going to be doing something that you really enjoy. Um, 
thank you guys so much for the support. I, I truly am just honestly so excited to just play a normal Iron Man account for like the first time in five years and I know you all can hear it in my voice uh, when I'm just talking about stuff, especially when I'm retelling some of these stories and uh, I just have a lot of fun looking back at it. And some of you have even made new accounts and are joining me and to that I say I cannot wait to hear about all of your progress. So let's get it. Here we are coming in with 35 Hunter. Honestly, hard to believe I just started this yesterday. I've always been a really big fan of passive ways to level up your skills, and the birdhouse runs definitely by far the best. Oh, this is a very, very nice level. I absolutely love the farming guild, so the fact that we are unlocking it here is a very, very nice. I will definitely be checking that out because grinding farming contracts is a great, great way to get seeds. Okay, so I want to buy a rune pick or flush with cash at the moment. And I did spot a tier 9 shooting star that I called out to star miners with their plugin. And now I'm just going to finish this clue and then mine iron over at the uh, monastery because that's where it's at until it hits tier 4. And then I'm going to collect more stardust. And here we are with 45 mining. I did not realize that I was super close to that. We can now mine granite in the desert, which is a pretty good way to train mining. Here we are walking into the farming guild for the very first time. Let's go ahead and get a contract. Let's see what we can get. I'd like a farming contract. Absolutely. We're going to go with the easy one. Rosemary, I've got plenty of those seeds. Going to be taking a little bit of a break from agility. I want to collect some unicorn horns, but has anyone ever noticed that the trees in here actually have like a more orangish hue to the wood than like the rest of the trees outside of here? That's kind of crazy. I did not realize that. A there we are the 48 magic and on the surface it might not seem like a good one but it does unlock the teleport to Karen castle once I complete client of Karen which is definitely on the list to complete after I get full graceful I really just want to get 38 herb lore I have enough herbs in the bank to do so I need a good amount of unicorn horns and then I can start collecting some snake grass to make those beautiful prayer potions all right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another story. And this one is about the very first friend I made in RuneScape outside, of course, of Jimmy, who told me about the game. So I had been training at Goblins for, I have no idea how long. It felt like weeks, but in reality, it was maybe like eight days. Uh, I was using Iron Armor. And I was using uh, an iron longsword, I believe. And it was a bunch of stuff that Jimmy had given me. And this guy came up and he said, hey, uh, like, what's your attack level? And I think I was like 22 or 23 at the time. I, I know I was high enough to use mithril. And he said, oh, okay, uh, what's your defense level? And I... At that point, I had, like, kept everything even, so my defense level was pretty much the same level as my attack and strength, which were all, like, mid-20s, maybe. And he said, okay, do you know how to add people? And I said, yes, I do. And he said, add me. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to bring you something. And I said, okay, cool. So I waited for, like, five minutes. The guy comes back, and he trades me... A full set of mithril armor, a mithril scimitar, and an amulet of strength. And I didn't have any of that. <laughs> I had been using iron. And he said, just so you know, you can use this armor. And scimitars are the best melee weapons in the game because they attack faster than longswords. And I said, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Like... Oh, uh, like what can I what can I give you for this and he said you don't have to give me anything only someone who is truly new would be here at goblins killing him with an iron long sword 
so like he he knew i was new there's like no no question about it and he said by the way if you want to make some cash you should kill cows instead and bank their cowhide so i did and i did that for about a week and i had collected close to 600 cowhide and i messaged him and i said hey oh uh, what do i do with this cowhide because it only sells to the general store for a few gold and he said oh no don't sell it to the general store sell it to people over in varrock and then he explained to me how like there's a whole sort of like economy where people trade things up until that point i just been selling stuff to the general store because i didn't know what to do with it and if it sold for a lot i just kept selling it there so he told me like what the going rate was for cowhide is like anywhere between 100 to 150 so he said if you want to sell it all to one person you can just be careful make sure that you do the math with the gold that they're giving you and i said okay so i went over there and i sold it and i made my first uh 70k because i i just sold it for 100 each i i didn't want to stay there that long and when I told him that, he said, uh, he was like, good job, man. He's like, that's, that's really good. That's a lot of money. And then I saw people selling mithril sets and I had seen that they were like 30 to 40 K each. And I was like, wow, the stuff that you gave me was like 40 K. And he goes, honestly, it's not that much with what I have. I really could tell that you were new and I just wanted to help you out. And I said, thanks. I really appreciate it. Uh, if I have more questions, can I just ask you? And he said, anytime, my man. And, uh, that was the first friend I ever made, Lich underscore 35. And my OG account name was Warlock underscore 1100. And, uh, thank you. Because that, uh, I realized that, that people in game could, uh, be really nice. And I really didn't have much interaction with that. I honestly never even really left Lumbridge. Uh, like the first two, two to three weeks that I played RuneScape, when I left, I was like, oh my god, there's so much more to this world. And that was a lot of fun. So yeah, thank you, man. Okay, <laughs> let's try this again the first time the Rosemary died. Which is crazy, because I use Super Compost. So let's go ahead and turn the contract in. And let's go ahead and, of course get another one this time it is onions absolutely beautiful and we'll take all the seeds there oh some orange tree seeds i already had some belladonna seeds so i didn't really need those but orange tree seeds definitely a fan of those did not have any of those yet time to get another piece of graceful i think i'm gonna go with the hood this time don't really have a hood slide at the moment that we're utilizing so Let's go ahead and slap that on. Now I'm just missing the cape, which will probably be the last one that I get since I do utilize the arty cape a lot. And we'll get the boots and gloves next time. This right here. <laughs> this is the banter. I know, I know boofing milfs in, in real life. And I just realized that I said his name and that's probably going to get me demonetized. Probably not. That was a name I suggested, uh... <laughs> It's, and I didn't think that it was actually going to happen, but I know him in real life. We go disc golfing all the time. He's a great friend, but he, I told him, I said, Hey, have you watched today's video? And he said, no, nah, I slept till 3 PM. And I said, well, it's still up. And he said, but it's not Mudkip. And he's correct. It's not, but he should still watch it. I'm his friend. There we are with 54 agility, but that hits us with the 950 total level. And our cat is fully grown, so I gotta go exchange that out for another 200 death runes. Been doing a lot of agility. There we are with 55. I think I have enough marks of grace to get the gloves, so whenever I do my next farm run, I'm gonna go ahead and go get those as well. Hey, there we are with a 40 hunter. So nice. All this has just been AFK. Very, very easy. We got double milestones here. Let's put this lamp on Herblore. And that is 38 
We can now make prayer potions, which I have not yet collected the snake grass. And that is 44 hunter, which means we can now make maple birdhouse traps. So after this run, we're going to be upgrading to those. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally obtaining this last piece of graceful look at that. We have full graceful. I had it last night, but I wanted to wait until we got on the desktop to get this. Very exciting. I also, oops, silly me, I got 50 farming last night, and then this morning I got 51 farming. And uh, I'm only one level away from my agility goal, so that's pretty nice. I'm going to continue doing the birdhouse runs and farm runs until I get to a level of herb seeds where I kind of want to keep them for farming contracts because I have been grinding those out, and it's been a lot of fun. Okay, I think that's a great stopping point, to be completely honest. Stopping on full graceful. We got the rune scimitar, which I totally forgot to pull out of my bank, and I don't feel like putting in my bank then to get it. But, man, we have the best skilling outfit outside of rogues, of course. So I'm very, very, very happy with that. Thank you all so much for your continued support. And don't forget to join the chat channel ladies and gentlemen we always have a lot of people in here everyone is super helpful there is a discord in the description down below if y'all want to join just hang out and chill and of course i have to give a special shout out to my channel members we have sir otterman at the third age tier tom at the crystal tier father duo and liz lemon at the master tier and lane at the elite tier thank you all so much for going above and beyond and of course if you are interested in supporting the channel further there's a link in the description down below for that. And I cannot wait for you guys to see next episode. It is packed full of amazing gains. I will see all of you beautiful people in a week. Thanks so much for watching.